Problem number six, negative five plus seven. So negative five plus a positive seven. On the left, I'm gonna need the color red to represent the negative integer chips. And I'll grab the circle, make sure that it's filled in. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, and five. Each represents negative one, so that's negative five. And then over here on the right side, I have my seven positive integer chips. And I try to match it up with the red integer chips. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A negative one and a positive one are opposites. They're additive inverses, so they form a zero pair. So that disappears. Again, negative one plus one, that's a zero pair, it disappears. Negative one plus one equals zero. Negative one plus one equals zero. Negative one plus one equals zero. Now that all of those integer chips have disappeared, we're left with just the two positive yellow chips. So our answer is positive two. Also, I'm going to model this on the vertical number line. My starting value is at negative five. Negative five. And then plus a positive seven. Positive seven means we're increasing, so we're going to, we're going to be moving upwards. So I move upwards one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I draw an arrow to show the direction I was moving upwards. And I circle where I ended up because that is my answer. So I got the answer two when I used the vertical number line. And I also got the answer two when I modeled using the integer chips.